What's going on, everybody? It is me, Lauren Delisa Coleman, back with another episode of AI Pop. I love doing these, right? I, I love finding the, the fun thing to be able to tell you about, and this fun thing I love. So um, maybe you know this already, maybe you don't, but for those who don't. So everybody knows already, at least this part, 50 Cent is just blowing up in terms of producing really just hot of the moment pop culture shows that just really zero in on just this grittiness and, and just all this excitement. I love how um, Courtney, the showrunner um, from all the power series now just got a massive deal with Netflix. In my opinion, she should have gotten it even before. But anyway, so 50 has this new series coming up that'll be shot in Detroit called BMF. It's based on um, this kind of black mafia family, which BMF uh, kind of stands for. And, um, you know, kind of true story, but enhanced, right? Anyway, okay, we are getting to the AI connection of this. So who is going to play, like, white boy Rick, who if you don't know, you've got to Google this if you don't know, but you should. Anybody who loves gangster stuff as much as I do and all that, and FBI and intrigue. Anyway, white boy Rick, notoriously whatever. I won't say if you don't know. But anyway, look it up. Anyway, there's going to be a cameo of this, you know, of a person playing this real life personality and it's going to be in Detroit, okay, Eminem. But here's the hot thing. White boy Rick, I mean, it's already hot that it's Eminem, but white boy Rick during, I guess, his zenith of all that he was involved in was younger than Eminem is now. And even though Marshall P. Mathers III looks very young for his age, um, they're going to be using like this facial, it's not right, facial recognition um, technology per se, but it is related to that. So kind of um, facial reconstruction um, that was used in, you guys might remember The Irishman on Netflix, lasted a million hours, Scorsese, Robert De Niro being able to look younger to go like kind of back in time in the show or rather in the film. Um, so they're gonna be using this technology to be able to make him look a little bit younger um, as he plays this character um, and you know does this cameo. This is really exciting because of course this is um, made possible in large part thanks to you know AI, anything that talks about kind of facial mapping or being able to move something around on screen, be able to, to connect with uh, you know, image that way is, um, I guess the underlying part of it is artificial intelligence. So I am excited about this as I'm hoping you are too. But again, always just kind of showing you where a AI is showing up in just the regular pop culture life and world so that you aren't intimidated by this so much or that you have familiarity with it or you can know what it is as it shows up. Um, and to be able to kind of just, you know, run with it and grasp it if you want to. Um, but certainly not to, you know, keep it on that high level that people like to do so it stays out of your reach. That's my goal to make sure that you are always up to date on what's going on in terms of AI and pop culture. And when it's hip hop, it's even better. So there you have it. Of course, I will always be keeping you updated um, with the very next thing. Don't miss my next episode right here, AI Pop. And I am Lauren Delisa Coleman. Thanks for watching.